So we've now installed our Pi. We've got it through the SSH. Um, I want to do these sort of videos on the Pi. So what you need to do now is install a little bit of software. Um, so the first thing is you need to log in as the root user. So if you log in as Pi, then sudo su will swap you to root, as you can see here, root user. And then once you're logged in, you want to go up to get, install, record my desktop. And it should go and get the file for us. Now, this this piece of software will allow us this will allow us to actually record our tutorials because there's a lot of stuff that I do will not be in our our putty window. Um, so I do need the actual desktop side as well, which is where this software comes in handy. But also, this will show you how to do it as well. And if you go down, scroll down in the comments, uh, in the uh, at the bottom of my YouTube video, I'll explain how to use ex use the software. Because uh, obviously, uh, I suppose I could actually show you how to use it. It's a bit awkward to use it for trying to record itself. <laughs> um, yeah, I I'll put it at the bottom um, but, but basically it will give you the commands and then it's basic just try it run it now it's a bit more complicated to move file through the SHH the putty you know the little um, terminal window SSH by the way is secure shell that's what it stands for um, but what we're going to do is I've recorded the video already on the Pi, but obviously I can't record it and then show me recording it because it's recording the video I'm recording. <laughs> so what I'm doing is actually going to show you how to transfer it across, then we'll open it and have a look at the file. FileZilla is available online for downloading. It's basically an FTP program, file transfer protocol. There's different ones. As you can see, I've got QFTP running at the moment because I'm actually working on the server. Um, so I've got that running and I've just opened FileZilla um, so it's not interfering with what, what QFTP is doing. And what you want to do is just go 192.168.1.107 and our username was Pi and our password is, if you haven't changed it, it will be Raspberry. Still port 22, quick connect. And here we are, this is a, we're inside our Raspberry Pi here. And the file it generated with this out.gov. So all you do is download it. There we go, download. I'll just overwrite the file because I downloaded it a second ago just to test it worked. And what we do now is we'll just open it. As you can see, it recorded, it's a bit pink. I'm not sure on the pink, but there's no audio on the file, uh, which is a bit concerning. Let me press pause. Um, but I just want to show it, it works. There's, there's stuff to be adjusted on it. Um, there's no sound, for example, but there's no sound set up on the Raspberry Pi yet. The, these are other parameters I've got to um, adjust. But as you can see here, uh, it couldn't see, it couldn't configure the sound card because it's not set up. But I just want to show the video because I'm not really fussed on the audio at the moment because most of the tutorial stuff will be more like this where I'm actually walking you through what I'm actually doing. Um, so it's adjusted, it's auto adjusted the um, window and when it couldn't, well, here we go, just put record my desktop, then you'll find it will go, well, your graphics card is not working. So what you need to do is record my desktop space minus minus no minus sound and it will record and, it, and this is what happens, this window appears. Then when you finish recording what you want to record, press control C. 
this is a basic tutorial. We'll get into the sound card and stuff later before anybody complains. Oh, well, you should set the sound card up first. Step at a time. This is how to do the get the video up and running. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.